Welcome back to Joe Stoner Boxing. Tank Davis looks the part eventually anyway by knocking out Frank Martin, previously undefeated, knocks him out in uh, eight rounds. Um, terrific performance really by, um, when well, the end it was a terrific performance by Tank. He looked a little bit rusty because he's been off for over a year, but the knockout was kind of spectacular. Um, he got Martin in the corner landed a left uppercut, which sort of unhinged Martin, and then who's dropped his guard, and then Tank had a free slice of his chin with a huge um, left hand that flattened Martin. Couldn't beat the count. He was just out. Um, uh, he was interviewed afterwards, Martin, actually, and he'd, he'd recovered. He was, you know, very dignified in defeat, um, as was Javonta Davis. You know, he was... This, this could... He's a good kid. I mean, this is a, he may have some silly things outside of the ring, but when he gets in that ring, he, he's a, he's as intelligent inside the ring as he's sometimes daft out of it, you know. Um, and it did take him a few rounds to get his engine running. And certainly, you know, the early rounds belonged to Frank Martin because he was moving so well and, and landing terrific punches, you know, sometimes twos and threes. Um, but Davis was constantly moving forward. You know, the pressure was just palpable. I mean, watching it on the screen, you could think, how is Martin going to survive this for 36 minutes, this pressure? In the first round, I mean, Tank barely threw a punch, really. But he was just finding his feet, finding, trying to find the rhythm. Second round, more of the same. Pressure was a bit quicker. And then by the third round, Davis was... You could tell that Davis was looking for big, accurate individual punches, which is what he always does. Um, and then once he'd found those, once once he was able to catch Dave, uh, catch uh, Frank Martin, um, and when Martin started to slow down, um, Davis then started to throw the twos and the threes. And um, it was noticeable that Martin wasn't able to keep the centre of the ring. He was moved back a lot onto the ropes. Uh, early on, say the first four rounds, he was very, very slick. R great footwork, uh, Frank Martin. And um, he did a few sort of what uh, Joe Goosen, who was commentating, called um, Houdini acts, which is a good way of putting it. The way he was in, on the ropes or in a corner and he'd sort of somehow slide out of it. But you could just tell what's going to happen when he slows down. What is going to happen? Um, well, gradually as the fight went on, Davis was getting closer and closer and um, it's almost like the inevitability of the tide coming in, you know. And Martin was becoming a little bit more reticent, thinking less about offence and countering and more about self-preservation, I suppose. But um, Martin actually showed a lot. I mean, the first six rounds of this fight, he looked really, really good. Better than, than I've previously seen him, to be honest with you. I mean... You know, Frank Martin, he came in with 18 wins, no draws and no defeats. And he fought like a guy who, who well, he clearly he'd come to win. There's, there's no doubt about it. He got 12 KOs of his own. Um, and But he never faced anyone in, anywhere near as good as Tank. He'd scored some, some good wins. He'd been 12 rounds in his last two fights. So we expected him to last the distance or to have a good gas tank. Um, and had he not been clipped by a by the serious power of Davis, it's quite feasible he could have gone gone those rounds, could gone the remaining rounds. Um, but at 29, he's probably in his prime. He's probably as good as he's going to get, Frank Martin, this is. Um, this was, by the way, was for the WBA lightweight title. Um, Martin's taller than Davis. Davis is actually quite short for the lightweight limit. I think he's about five, 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 five and a half. Uh, but um, he, anyway, I mean, he's now got 30 wins with 28 KOs, and that says it all. The power is very, very noticeable. I mean, you can see it. You can, even when he's not throwing punches, you can tell this. If this guy lands, he's, there's going to be there's going to be a little mini earthquake going on here. Um, and that seems to be his sort of his uh, mo, doesn't it? I mean, he, he starts off very slowly, loses some early rounds. It, doesn't bother him at all. He puts constant pressure on. The opponent slows down and overcomes. out comes the big artillery and bang, it's all over. But Davis has a way of working you out. He's got a very high ring IQ. He's, 
And if you fall into any kind of set rhythm, he will time you and counter you. Um, and certainly if you slow down and you're not firing anything back that gets his respect, he'll they'll take pot shots at you, he'll set you up and knock you out. It's kind of what he did to Frank Martin. Um, see, if you're going to hang on the ropes and move and slip and slide like Martin was trying to do, you've got to get lucky against someone like Davis. You've got to get lucky 100% of the time. Because if you if you fail to do what you need to do once, it's all over, and that seems to be really what happened with uh, with Frank Martin. But like I say, you know Martin can come back. Uh, he's he's not a bad fighter at all. He's a, <laughs> he showed a lot. He probably showed more in this fight for the first six rounds than he previously shown in in all of his all of his um, his previous fights. So. He's got a future, I think. Uh, I really think he has. But for Tank Davis, I mean, you know, the world's his oyster now, isn't it? I mean, he's he is a very entertaining fighter to watch. He does have that sort of star value, that star quality. Hits hard. Seems to have a good jaw. I mean, Martin isn't a one punch banger, but he did land a few pings off off Tank's jaw. weren't a problem. Um, but what I mean, I'd love to see Tank in against Lomachenko. What a fight that would be! Um, yeah, Lomachenko versus Tank. I want to see that fight. I really, really do. You got Pitbull Cruz, who's got one of the belts, picked it up off Rowley, didn't he? But uh, we've seen that fight before. You know, maybe Cruz can fight Lomachenko, and then the winner has Tank. Maybe. Um, yeah, I want to see that fight. Lomachenko. Lomachenko and Davis, I think, is a fascinating matchup of styles. Absolutely fascinating. But anyway, what did you think? Do you, I, thought, I think this might just be, well, I was going to say his best performance, Davis. But yeah, yeah, it could be. Especially as he was off for like 14 months. I think it was about 14 months anyway. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. What do you think of his performance? What do you think of Frank Frank Martin's performance as well? Because I, th- I thought he showed some things. Okay, he got knocked out, but I think he showed a lot of a lot of ability, a lot of talent. So let me know what you think. Um, comments below, of course, and I will read them and answer them. And also um, subscribe to the channel if you're new, if you don't mind. That would be a big help. And also, if you like the video, hit the like button and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. I always appreciate your time. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a good night of boxing. I'll get you later. Bye for now.